Well, every person that can watch the world's greatest contest in the privacy of their own home is considered fortunate. As Peter Vlahos reports, the life of our normal television set may soon be over as we enter a new era of home entertainment. Japan has long been the pace setter in the audio and visual medium. Now the humble lounge room television set is about to undergo a major facelift. It comes the way of high definition television. Japan's NHK television network are in Italy and working in conjunction with host broadcaster Rai on the World Cup. By the time the event is over, 13 matches would have been transmitted in high definition back to the land of the rising sun. The true impact of high definition television cannot be fully appreciated, as the manufacturers of the system have yet to release it on the retail market. In trying to explain this in layman's terms, high definition television is cinema quality pictures on a bigger screen in the privacy of your own home. It's simple. The scanning lines on a normal TV are 525. On a bigger screen, you have 1,125 such lines, which gives you finer detail and enhances colour reproduction. Another feature is that it allows you to position yourself closer to the screen without sacrificing picture quality. Here is a comparison. This is normal TV and this is high definition. It displays its scanning potential. Imagine watching a match in your TV room at home as if you were at the cinema. The NHK television network first presented high definition at the Seoul Olympic Games in 1988. NHK's network chief says high definition TV to the individual will be expensive initially but he is curious to see what prices will be established but he emphasized that the prices will fall once sets begin to turn over. High definition television is the direction home entertainment is going and by 1995 one million sets will be installed in Japan alone. Australia, if NHK has its way, won't be far behind and maybe soon you'll be able to watch the greatest sporting event on earth in Cinemascope. Peter Vlahos reporting.